Hi everyone, I'm WFAA Chief Meteorologist Pete Delkus. I want to give you an in-depth look at uh, Hurricane Ian right now, a Category 3, soon to be a Category 4, just to the west of Key West at this point. Uh, right now it's 210 miles south-southwest of Fort Myers, Florida. Winds of 120. When the winds get to 130, the sustained winds, uh, then it becomes a Category 4, now a Category 3. Winds are gusting, though, up to 150. The entire southern quarter of the peninsula from Fort Pierce west to Fort Myers is under a tornado watch that will most likely last through the night tonight and probably into the day tomorrow. These are the current uh, wind gusts that we're seeing right now down to the Keys and some of these buoys that are offshore. So the 50 to 60 mile an hour winds certainly and, and there's no doubt there's winds that are stronger than that right there in the eye of the hurricane itself or on the eye wall of the hurricane. But landfall is going to be the middle of the afternoon tomorrow. Uh, Dallas time a little earlier than that. Of course, it'll be, you know, around two o'clock or so Florida time two, three o'clock tomorrow, Florida time when it makes landfall. Here's Fort Myers just to the north is Port Charlotte landfall somewhere in that Fort Myers for uh, Port Charlotte area uh, early to mid afternoon tomorrow winds of 130 miles an hour. Then it moves right up I four toward Haines City, Disney World, Orlando, still a category one storm. Uh, late, late Wednesday night, early Thursday morning, winds of 80, maybe close to 100 miles per hour. Then it's in a weakening phase. It does actually move offshore uh, out in the Atlantic briefly around St. Augustine, north of Daytona Beach, St. Augustine, then back on shore here in coastal Georgia and then back up into uh, South Carolina uh, as it's in a weakening phase at that moment. But look at this. Watch this system. There's the eye wall right now, the eye of the hurricane. This is uh, uh, sunrise on Wednesday. And then here's your landfall. Uh, not officially making landfall at 1 o'clock, right around 3 o'clock in the afternoon or so. Landfall there in uh, southwestern Florida. And then it moves across the peninsula, dumping very, very heavy rain before it emerges, uh, re-emerges back out over open water uh, Thursday uh, late afternoon into Thursday evening. Here we go. We have hurricane watches. We have actually hurricane warnings and tropical storm warnings in effect for almost the entire state. High uh, sea surface temperatures, very warm sea surface temperatures. That's the fuel that these tropical systems need to uh, really uh, get going and continue to ramp up. And then a storm surge anywhere from just south of Tampa, right around Sarasota, down to Fort Myers, including Port Charlotte. That's where we'll have a storm surge of 8 to 12 feet plus. And then the rainfall amounts and the winds are going to be extreme. We're looking at winds of 110 miles an hour or stronger in anywhere from a foot or two feet of rain across the peninsula of Florida. Once again, a very strong category three major hurricane right now does have its sight set on southwest Florida. Uh, make sure you keep it here on the WFA YouTube channel and I'll continue to keep you updated.